hello friends uh, welcome today we are going to discuss about the uh, combination of uh, dhan and raj yoga in krishnamurti paddhati the combination for wealth and power many of you are already aware what yoga means in the classic astrology but in krishnamurti paddhati how this dhan and raj yoga are interpreted that is what is going we are going to discuss today <coughs> now the literal meaning of the word yoga is union so in the classic astrology the patterns or combination that are formed because of some mutual placement of the planets or the exchange of houses by virtue of the planets and many other factors they give rise to some kind of a pattern or a yoga that is what is a typically you know yoga means in the Uh, parashari or the uh, the old astrology system now here is one example the vaishya yoga the vaishya yoga is formed when any planet except rahu and ketu and moon is placed in the second house from the sun this is one typical example of how a yoga is defined in the traditional parashari astrology and when you look into these kind of a combinations and when you have your imagination run wild then you end up with thousands of such combinations not only for the uh, dhan and raj yoga but for each specific aspect of life there is uh, some uh, certain combination or a union of planets or, or a pattern that gives rise to a yoga so there are thousands of yogas you know going beyond wealth and power not only the wealth and power but going beyond it recently i was watching a video and where i was quite amused to find uh, one yoga reference uh, discussing about the uh, the life pattern or the career of the uh, bollywood star sunny deone so what has happened is that there are overwhelmingly number of yogas and for each of the specific person or a specific event or in specific attribute in life there is some combination that tends to justify that because of this combination or because of this yoga uh, this happened uh, i was running you know the horoscope for one of my Uh, friends using you know the future point software and the since you know there are so many number of yogas thousands thousands of yogas so obviously a computer program can accumulate all these yogas in one place and let you know that what kind of yogas uh, a person has in his or her horoscope so uh, this the future point uh, uh, software which i was using for to generate the horoscope for one of my friends and when i was looking at the kind of yoga this person has so this is what i came across now he had this chakravarti raj yoga so now there is a sanskrit uh, uh, text given uh, uh, and then an explanation is given about how the combination of planets or this pattern emerges to form this particular yoga in this person's horoscope and the result is that this person is going to be the head of a nation or a state now immediately i also found there was another yoga in the same chart uh, of the person and uh, is called at the shakat yoga and in the shakat yoga you see this uh, the reference is given uh, from the fal deepika and now this the person who was going to be the head of a nation or state is suddenly becomes uh, grief stricken and your life may remain full of sorrow so there are so many contradictory rules and uh, uh, patterns in the uh, in the traditional astrology that in one step suddenly the person is deemed to become a head of the state and in the next step he becomes a very poor you know person full of 
sorrows and all that. So with this kind of scenes, with this kind of scenarios, you know, when you have uh, so many contradictory rules and so many yogas, like it happens in the classical astrology, many of you have asked me that what is the, uh, what has been the stance of uh, uh, Krishnamurti uh, regarding the yogas. So I'm going to quote, you know, uh, one uh, experience from Krishnamurti himself on the the so-called yogas and this is a story that he has mentioned in one of his books and I want to, you to go you know through this story slowly. In this story he has mentioned about his experience of meeting an industrialist that had been paying crores and crores of rupees and obviously this has to be uh, someone extremely rich back in India during Krishnamurti's time. And Krishnamurti has mentioned that while looking at his horoscope, that he found no Raj Yogas were there. In fact, they were all, you know, many debilitated planets and no Raj Yoga. And he mentioned that when he came out of that meeting, after meeting this industrialist, then the clerk outside showed his horoscope. Krishnamurti was very famous at that time. And the clerk showed his horoscope. And Krishnamurti found that there were plenty of yogas in his horoscope. And what Krishnamurti has mentioned is that this particular clerk with so many Raj Yogas or Dhan Yogas had been asking Krishnamurti to recommend to his boss, the industrialist, for a petty increment. Now, if you take this horoscope to a traditional you know, astrologer, in, and if it is interpreted in the light of so-called, you know, the Raj Yoga or the Dhan Yoga, then obviously, you know, what Krishnamurti has written or what Krishnamurti has mentioned is going to happen. He has mentioned that he will promote the clerk as the proprietor of the industry and reward the proprietor as the clerk. So Krishnamurti had his own sense of humor. So when I get these kind of emails that uh, what are the Krishnamurti's views on the, the traditional, you know, Raj Yoga or the Dhan Yoga, then this particular line, you know, uh, pretty much sums up everything. This is what Krishnamurti has mentioned. That let me not write volumes on this unscientific method of examining a horoscope. So the idea is that the, the traditional concept of Raj and Dhan Yoga, it doesn't really work. I, uh, some of my friends, you know, when they approach me and they say, okay, you know, look at my horoscope, I have so many uh, Raj Yoga or Dhan Yoga in my horoscope, then your answer should be, look at your life. If there are these Dhan Yoga and Raj Yoga, then they should typically manifest in your life. You should be well off, you should be wealthy, and you should have proximity to some kind of political power. Well, it doesn't happen in, in, in most of the time, but they are just happy counting the number of the yogas. So the idea in the Krishnamurti Paddhati is that we have to now look at a more modern and contemporary context in the interpretation of these yogas. See, long back when these uh, classical uh, texts were written, 2000, 3000 years ago, then we had a system of uh, monarchy and there were kings and there were emperors and those kind of stuff. And at that time, all these yogas like Akhand Samraj Yoga and the Akhand Dhani Yoga, all these things might would have had a meaning. But in the modern context, if you look in the modern context, if a person has have uh, five or six or seven, you know, Dhani Yogas, you have to interpret in the modern context. And then you have to ask this question. If this person is born rich, will he remain rich throughout his life? Long back in the old time, if a person was born rich or if a person was born as a king or an emperor, he or she would have remained in that status throughout their life. But now these days in the modern times, we have a concept called democracy. That is a that has that this dramatically you know uh, different from what we used to have like thousands of years ago now if you look at uh, uh, the what is happening in the life of uh, anil ambani now he was born as a rich person because dhirubhai was a rich person and he inherited part of his wealth 
but if you read at the contemporary or the current news what is going on in his life he is getting all the heat these days and it seems like his company is going to get bankrupt so obviously you know the question the the krishnamurti recommend that you have to ask this question is this person born rich okay in the context of uh, anil ambani we can say oh, yeah this person was born rich will he remain rich throughout his life that is a typical old classical yoga about akhand dhan yoga akhand you know the ak- sanskrit word akhand means one that remains uniform throughout the life but is this possible in the current modern time look at uh, anil ambani and not only anil ambani you have so many you know different examples they are ups and downs so it it has become a very dynamic kind of affair uh, the person might have uh, become rich and may remain rich for a certain period of time then a person might see a downfall or a person might rich uh, um, may remain rich throughout his life that for the dhan yoga in simple and for the raj yoga long back the um, the the whole concept of the raj yoga was through inheritance a king was born then his son used to um, uh, ascend the throne and he would or she would become the the emperor or the king but in the modern time this doesn't you know hold water it doesn't work there are ups and downs Now, if you look at uh, Uh, the uh, the horoscope of uh, trump or the obama and you can immediately make it out what kishmurti is trying to say trump has been trying to be a us president for so many years so long years he has been trying but it ultimately he became the president but it took a very long time 70 75 years or whatever you know and when you and trump was born rich he was born to a wealthy family essentially he was a more in into the business but then he ventured into the politics and if you look at obama he had a more comparatively you know humble beginning and but he became the president of us in a relatively young age but he can't be a president of us throughout his life this is not possible so what does the akhand uh, 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 raj yog means you know if a person cannot be the king the president of the us is like almost like the king but by the current democratic uh, laws that we have in a democratic uh, setup he can't be a president more than 10 years so now he's gotten more into oblivion okay but he started as a humble you know he had a humble beginning and then he rose to these dizzy heights of becoming the us president so the idea is that you have to look at this horoscope not from the uh, traditional static uh, fixed you know dhan yoga and raj yoga the contemporary modern life has become you know very dynamic there are ups and downs and there are so many different kind of things that can happen in a person's life and life is not very static for anyone either somebody who is uh, Uh, a, a millionaire or a billionaire or even somebody who is a president even if you look at dictators you know some of the dictators in these countries they are not uh, vulnerable they are all, they have also become vulnerable these days because a lot of these big nations they tend to put pressure on them so they can't have a peace of mind and they have to reconcile and they have to change their attitude so the idea is that the whole concept of uh, the dhan and raj yog is a very dynamic concept and it is very closely linked to the uh, the the especially the dasha system that what kind of dasha a planet a person is going to have through uh, throughout his or her life and now in krishnamurti uh, system like i mentioned to you that krishnamurti has al- already said that the, this is a very unscientific method and it doesn't hold you know much water in the current times so in in krishnamurti paddhati the rules are very simple krishnamurti has divided the whole horoscope in the into two parts one is favorable to a person and the other part is not favorable so in terms of the dhan yoga raj yoga there is still a kind of a combination i would say but this combination is very different from the uh, traditional astrology there is a handshaking 
even in Krishmurti Paddhati, there is a handshaking. But when the handshaking happens between these houses, then that particular horoscope is deemed to be good from the wealth point of view, from the prosperity point of view, or from the uh, from the uh, political uh, uh, achievements point of view. The only difference is that for the uh, Dhaniyog, you know, the houses are like 2 and 11 and 6. But for the uh, political, this thing, uh, for the Rajyog in Krishnamurti, the handshaking between the houses is more towards 1, 9 and 10. And the you see, sometimes people, when they go in the politics, they might not be rich. So the 1, 9, and 10, it brings great fame. It brings a sense of entitlement or accomplishment to a person. But this is not a guarantee that a person will have wealth. It's not that the wealthy person cannot become politician. For example, Trump is a wealthy person. He has been a wealthy person throughout his life, and he became a politician. But uh, in Krishmurti, uh, Paddhati, all these combinations, a wealthy person can become a politician or an ordinary person can become a politician or a, a person can become wealthy and then lose his money. All these combinations has to be looked from the perspective of handshaking between the various houses. So the good houses are, like I mentioned, these are the good houses. And for the, Dhanyo, uh, for the Raj Yoga, these are the good houses. So 1 and 10. In a horoscope, a strong combination because one in, between 1 and 10 will invariably bring you know good publicity. That person is bound to go into some kind of a public service, NGO work, those kind of stuff. And the bad houses are 5, 6, 8 and 12. 12. So a person might have a horoscope with a combination of good and bad houses, which is usually what happens. A person might be, might have good houses and the bad houses, handshaking at the same time. So you have to link these significators and see if a person is going to have a smooth sailing throughout his life or there are going to be ups and downs. So in the context of Krishnamurti Paddhati, you have to look at a more rational, modern and contemporary approach. Now I'm going to do some horoscopes and uh, where we are going to look at uh, all these uh, uh, the Dhanyog and Rajgog and the ups, ups and downs uh, in the career from the Krishnamurti uh, point of view. We are going to take a more modern, rational and contemporary approach. So that's all in this video and hopefully I am going to upload another giving you an example of uh, example horoscope of some person, a politician or a millionaire or a billionaire with some ups and downs in, in his or her career. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.